Hello guys and welcome to Klaus Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at Game of Thrones, the interactive story from Telltale Games. I read all the books and they're excellent and uh, the TV series is also pretty good. So let's see if this game is up to par with the rest of the universe. So let's get into the game. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolfswood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek to claim Forester ironwood for themselves, and the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. So apparently we're having a party, probably in the Ironwood. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. So apparently we are on the lowest rung of the ladder, probably a page or something. We have to clean the sword. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Yeah. Go on, it's only blood. So apparently we've just been on a battle and it's probably uh, celebrating the victory. So let's clean the sword. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, I will. You you'll see. Just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Yeah, we'll just shut Next up and let him tell finish. Us he got Tyrion too. <laughs> Shh. Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I'd a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Well, that'll happen when you drink wine. <laughs> you get very clever and tell stories. I don't take orders from you. I don't take orders from you. No, but you take orders from him. You idiot, you're his squire. Now fetch him some wine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> that must have been a sight to behold. Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. Yeah, let's get drunk. Have a party. To Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, 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 King in the North! North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Ride! Death to the Lannisters! Ride! The North remembers. The North remembers! Ride! So Casterly Rock is the stronghold of the Lannisters, and the yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick, as his father. I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question: of what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. 
No. How shall I reward your loyalty? How about making us king? Yeah, to honor this noble you house. Me well to bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forest. I'm not really sure it's a good idea it's to ride in the vanguard. <laughs> that would be the first the people to die. Alright. So we, now, we just remain silent. Us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. So we just received the promotion ahead of our fellow squire. Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on, make it up to you. All right, we'll do Fine, it. Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Yeah, no, you don't. It's my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant. Yeah, drink. just shut up and do the work. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squire in for Norin and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. Oh, this guy's full of shit. I suppose this beats pig farming. Yeah, who doesn't love bacon? But not by much. It's the best spice in the world. This is a job for a pig farmer. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. <laughs> Let's bring it to him. <laughs> Maybe if my uncle were cast on it, House Forester, I'd feel different. How much further? It's right over there. So you have to choose the dialogue really quickly or you miss it, because I wanted to tell him there that I got a promotion, but I was too slow. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. So we're at the wedding of uh, Rob Stark, who is leading the rebel army from the north. After he finds a willing husband for one of his And Walders, Frey's daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. So that's what we're celebrating, what? the wedding. What's wrong? That's uh, Castle Frey, home of Walder Frey. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. All right. You've had too much wine. We have enough wine. And take the fucking flagon already. So we just noticed something is wrong. Some is, something is definitely What's wrong amiss. What's with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Yeah. So let's warn, have to warn the, others. the Lord. Good luck. Oh. Oh. So we chose to try and warn the Lord instead of trying to save the squire. So I have to press the correct key here to. Uh, Dodge out of the way. There goes the Lord. So obviously, with the, 
This is the betrayal of Ro oh. Rob Stark, where he also uh, dies. Shoot that one! This is the end of the roof from the north. And the reason for this is that uh, Rob Stark actually had uh, promised Lord of Frey to marry his daughter. But he didn't in the end. He wanted to marry another girl that he found. And Walter Frey wouldn't have any of that. So he betrayed him at the wedding. So Walter Frey's men are just killing off the Rob Stark's army here. And we're part of Rob Stark's army. And we're all drunk and happy and have no weapons. So it's a slaughter. We have to tap the Q key here in order to not die. Books on the TV series, this is known as the Red Wedding. Good fucking riddance. So now, now it might be time to leg it. Find Roderick. Speak up, Garrett. He, he's gone, my lord. There was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Yeah, he doesn't seem too happy weapon. about that. Quickly. So let's grab the sword and get to bashing. Out of free, you fucking traitor! Go, my lord, while there's still time! Yeah, let's live to fight another day. <laughs> let's get out of here. Not in good shape with that arrow in the chest. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time to <laughs> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath where it belongs. But There's no time to waste. That's the family sword. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Well, the phrase you have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Now go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! So he's going out as a knight? We'd love to ah! the fray. Yeah, we don't like Walter Frey. We will have his head on a stick. And that's the beginning, I guess, of this adventure in Game of Thrones. Started out in the Red Wedding, where all of our friends and I guess some of our family were wiped out by Walter Frey in the betrayal of Rob Stark. Ending his uh, 
try to get the throne. And apparently the Lannisters engineered this. They were talking about the Lannisters in the beginning as well. And they were marching on uh, Castle Rock, which is the Lannister stronghold. So that's our home, Iron Wrath. And we were also told that we have a, an important resource in the Ironwood. Those trees. Our family owns uh, that uh, forest, apparently. Or oh, Iron Bark, was it called that? Episode 1, Iron from Ice. So here we are in the Forester Lands on the King's Road. So the Forester Lands, that must be our family lands. And we have the family sword on our back. And a lot of memories we don't want to uh, remember right now. There's something on the ground here. Blood. Let's take a look at it. Blood. Fresh. Fresh blood. From this pig. There's something burning in the distance there. So apparently some soldiers came through here. Pillars and uh, set fire to stuff, I guess. It's a cart that has uh, been raided over here. Let's take a look at that. That's father's car. Oh, so maybe we are on our way back to our family. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Lord Bolton is uh, one of the Rob Stark's bannermen who betrayed him with the Lannisters at the Red Wedding. So these are part of uh, the traitor's army. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father, I said move on. So that's our dad. You want to get fed to the fucking pig. So let's draw the sword. I'm going to kill you. Take these guys' heads if we can, or die trying. Is that so? You can try if you like, and then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he like a proper. That's the sword deal like he made that. with Lannister. No. So they already killed our father. I have that sword, boy. Fuck you. So this sword fight is not going too well. All right, finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. So we can really grab the axe or the farmer, other one. Let's grab the axe. Get up close and dirty. So apparently we are learning to fight as we go. <laughs> so now we have a little bit of trouble here. We came out on Please. top. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with yeah, you. Yeah, whatever. Kill him. No. Please. 
Tell it to your family in the afterworld. You hang for this. That much I promise. Yeah, it's too bad he got away. So we took a little bit of revenge for our father's death here. Father? Garrett! You survived! Your sister! She hid! So apparently they killed our mother as well. I think she was lying dead there. I tried to stop them. And her sister hid in the woods. So that's uh, a family that's been wiped out and the farm destroyed. I'll kill the men who did this. So we made it to the stronghold despite our wound to the leg. It's Garrett! It seems like we didn't find Get our sister. Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the great hall! Quickly! The maester is uh, the wise man and the doctor of the castles. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. That's good news. We like our leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. So you put maggots in Hold the wound? Hold the wound open for me, would you? That's great. So apparently they eat the dead fish. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. So yeah, um, we seem fine with the leg now. And this is as far as we get in the first episode. We'll play more Game of Thrones uh, next time. So thank you for watching.